what's up guys honestly i didn't think i was going to get you guys a vlog this week uh we were going to do a show this weekend actually today that i'm filming this and a hurricane come through and we live in north carolina and uh we had plans to uh be with my wife's grandmother tomorrow well those plans fell through the show is saturday and sunday it's at bayside harley sorry i'm breathing heavy been working my ass off the last hour getting stuff packed up ready to go um i didn't plan to do a show but tomorrow we're going to bayside uh the plans got canceled they're free the weather's good so we're packing up the truck now last minute and we're gonna make it happen uh, i need to be up within like 12 hours so we got a lot of work to do but we're gonna take you along with it being a vendor at our harley shop for a badass show all right late at night i got everything packed up we're going to hit the road in the morning and go check it out um this is last minute but uh it's gonna be great i'm glad i can get this content and glad i can go to the show we're saving up to get a van so every dollar counts but yeah you'll get to see what it is to do a vending show with us and we got one the next week and then two weeks after that but let's get some sleep and i'll catch back with you in the morning all right it's show day uh it's early in the morning uh we had to get up at like five o'clock we'll probably get out of here by around six uh probably didn't really get moving until almost 5 30 but the show's like a little bit over two hours away so we're gonna leave in the dark and probably show back up in the dark that's okay uh but waiting on the girlfriend we got everything packed and ready we're gonna have to stop and get gas a little bit of food but we'll get there in gas the gas light was on, so let's take a guess on how much it's going to cost. Uh, she only need one tank for the day, but uh, yeah, I'm guessing 80 bucks. We'll see. All right, our guess wasn't too far off. $83. All right, we made it. We got it halfway set up. Uh, everyone was here super early, so we didn't get a good spot. But that's all right. Before we put everything out, we're going to go look at the dealership. I know Elizabeth's got a bike she wants to go look at, so before people actually start showing up, we're gonna go take a look at everything. Got a lot of bikes out. Got a lot of bikes inside. We found a Dyna Switchback. That's what Elizabeth's been wanting to sit on. She likes it. This one is kind of a piece of shit, but this one's rough. But she likes it, so maybe in the future we can find a cheap, good example of one and get it for but hopefully the rain's gonna hold off. They're not supposed to rain, but it's sprinkling a little bit. Uh, I guess we need to go ahead and get our stuff officially set up. All right, we got everything set up. We did our first sale. Everything's pretty much set up. And there's, I don't know if you can see it way back there, but they got duck donuts out. And they came and gave us some free donuts. I don't know what's going on. I hear looking at bikes and I guess somebody's hurt.
long day. Started packing up. I spent the last little bit. Yep. She started packing up for me, thankfully, because I was spending some time talking to the motor clothes manager. So hopefully we'll work out a deal and maybe we'll be in our first Harley shop. I don't know. But we're gonna get finished packing up, go see her one more time, and then get out of here. All right, everything's packed up, ready to get out. We're gonna go talk to the motor clothes manager one more time. Hopefully talk about a future endeavor and then it's gonna be like, I don't know, maybe two and a half hours on the way home. So long day for sure. All right, we stopped for gas at a Love's. We'll probably get a little bit of food here too. Uh, gas is a little bit cheaper. So we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna do that. And uh, sorry, <laughs> very tired. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get some gas. We only, got a, we only burned about a half a tank but uh, we got a show next weekend, so we might as well just go ahead and uh, fill up a little bit cheaper gas and then we'll get some food. But the show was pretty good. Uh, we didn't make a whole lot of money, but that's not really why I came up here. I came up here to make that connection with the motor clothes manager and hopefully, possibly in the future, we can get our stuff in the Harley shop. Best dinner in the world, Mickey D's. Well, we got our bellies full, some, you know, shitty McDonald's food, and we're gonna head home and see how long it takes us to get there. We're definitely gonna get there in the dark. All right, so we made it home just like I knew we would, in the dark. Uh, not a too bad of a show. We're gonna do a recap tomorrow, because it's late, and I gotta get up early for my regular job. So we'll do a recap in the morning. All right, guys, it's the next day. It's Monday, completely wiped. We got the truck unpacked. We've got to get all of our orders out. Uh, we need to restock a few things and we need to be repacked Friday. So I got a few days, got to get a bunch of stuff going. Uh, hopefully that conversation with the, man the motor clothes manager will work out, keep you all updated, um, but that's, Kind of a weekend or of a crazy day to go vend last minute. Probably didn't get near as much footage as I should have, but it is what it is. We're gonna try it better. We got another show this weekend. I'm gonna take you all along for. Please like this video, comment something that you liked, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, but as always, keep it wretched.